Welcome back to DIY with Jeannie. Today we're going to take the note cards that we made last time by just randomly cutting these papers, these hard to use papers as our background. And I'm not gonna do anything to the front. If people wanna do it to the front, um, they can. You can get your own embellishments. But I really like the idea of just handmade note cards where you can write whatever you want to inside. I really like to write personal notes. When I get when I do a thank you, I don't need it to say thank you. I like to write a very personal note inside. So we're going to take and make a box for our cards. And I was at Dollar Tree this week and I saw these bags and I was like, oh, I think that will work. I think it'll be big enough. And they are $1.25. Uh, voila. So they're back in their, their gift bags, but they're very thick. So I'm hoping we don't have to use a, a uh, chipboard in it. But if we do, we're going to use this one, and I'll show you why. Now, here are, well, let me show you why first. Remember the paper, the, um, this, the Carnival Children's Paper, and I had that pack, and I just took it and cut them apart. Well, this is the cardstock that was in it. So I just used it to come up with a template. And I'm going to show you how, how big this is. We have five inches, a half inch, five and a quarter, a half, and five eighths. And you want that five eighths so that you have a lip that goes over the front. So the total is 10. 11 and 7 eighths long. But here's where we fold it. 5 inches, score, half inch, score, 5 and a quarter, score, half inch, score. That's it. Then on the sides, the total across is 8 and 5 eighths. No, 8 and 5 sixteenths. And we do half inch, seven and a quarter inches, so that it's wide enough for a card. Whatever size card you use, that just happens to be the card that I have. So if you're using an A4, it's going to be smaller. So this could be smaller, and you could get more out of a bag. And then a half inch, so a half inch on both sides, and a half inch at the top for the fold over and at the bottom. And that'll make a nice box. I'll show you real quick. So we're going to put our little tab in these guys up here is our little box and we can put a ribbon around it um, we'll probably put some sort of closure on it but there you go there's your box so we're going to take our gift bag we want to take it apart because right now I know for a fact I can get two out of this because that fits perfectly on this side and I got two sides. So let's take it apart. And you just kind of want to be careful because we want to use as much of this paper as we can. And it is nice, thick paper. Come on. Well, that one's stuck good. They make their bags last, I'll tell you. Here we go. Put that down. We're going to open it up take this seam apart. Part of me wants to just cut it. But I don't want to do that. Now the other place that you can get this weight cardboard is the gift boxes. And if you go like after Christmas sale, all of those white gift boxes, or even the ones with decoration that are 90% off and um, buy them. Just use them for the cardboard. Uh, I've, it's it's not that difficult if I get some. I will show you that. I'm just gonna cut it because it really doesn't matter. Because the side piece is the one that's connected, and honestly, we're not gonna need it for a while. I don't even have a project for it yet. So we just want to cut this open. And can I take a minute to just say how beautiful these new bags are at Dollar Tree? I mean, stunning, 
beautiful. This one. Avalanche. Everything's falling because I keep all of my cardboard. Even mailing envelopes. If you get the mail, you know, it comes to the mail, don't throw it away because you can still use it. using this one we'll see in just a second if that fold's gonna make a difference right there it may line up with a fold I've got to use so that would be beautiful but if not we'll use the front so let's see if I can make that line up uh, no Darn. okay so we're gonna have to use the other side this would be for a smaller one so let's set it aside because we're not getting rid of it do not throw things away. Well, we should. My husband will be the first to tell you that. He's like, you're just a hoarder. I said, no, I'm a connoisseur of wonderful craft supplies. By the way, I did not introduce myself. My name is Jeannie, and this is DIY with Jeannie. And welcome back if you are a first-time visitor. Um, welcome back. And if you are a repeat visitor, welcome and that is my big guy. Hang on just one moment. Okay, so I got a front, both sides, which I'm gonna keep because you just never know how much you can use of it. The bottom is pretty much a waste. There's just not a lot there. Okay, sorry. So most of the bottom was wasted, but I did save this little card right here because what I can do is, on that front lip that's going to fold down, I can put this to make it longer, but to also add a little bit of embellishment. So I think we'll use this sticker. And then we'll put our magnet on here and on the, car, on the folder, and we'll be able to magnet close it, and it won't be so um, hard to get off and on. So there is that. So the first thing we want to do is cut our bag down to the right dimensions. So we are going to cut eight and three eighths. So we want eight and three eighths. So let me take the string out. So I don't need it right now, but I might need it later. So we're not going to throw this away. Okay, that's eight and three eighths. Let's see if we can't cut this down first. So the length is just at 12 inches. So. And our bag is over 12 inches, so that's good. So let's cut this strip off so it'll make that eight uh, easier to cut. So now we're going to put this away. We might or might not save it because it's got that fold over and it has the holes. So we'll we'll think on that. And this one we want eight. But I wanna first thing I want to do is just take a little off. So I can square that up. Well, so just a little hair off of there to make sure it's all nice and straight. Yeah. Put that on our line. Cut this side down. Here we have our piece. So, and it is exactly the size that I needed for it to be. So now what we are going to do is put our, trying to decide which way to put it on this side. So the first thing we want to do is score it half inch. Now, I got this at Dollar Tree. It had the two ends so that you could score. 
and I am going to tell you a secret. For a dollar, I would buy these. For a dollar and a quarter, I'm not going to buy any more of these. Because, and I know you're like, oh, it's a quarter. But I could get five for five at a dollar, and I can get four for five or a dollar and a quarter. And this end, the little thing just pushes all the way in and then finally just pops off. So, I won't get any more of these. But I will look for a better one at Joann's or Michael's. So now what we want to do is do our little score at half inch. Flip it around. Do our score at half an inch. And you hear it cracking. That is a good sign because that means we're not necessarily going to tear it when we fold it. So that is our half inch on both sides and that's all we have to do to that one. So now I want to turn it and I want one at five inches. So we're going to go to five inches and we want to put our score line right there. We're going to go a half inch, so to five and a half, put our score line. And you can make it as wide as you want. I am just doing it enough for five cards because that's what we made. So now I'm going to do five and a quarter more. So ten and three quarters. I'm going to make another mark. And our last one is eleven and a quarter. That's another half inch. So there we are. We have all of our score lines. I don't know if you can probably see them better from this side. So what we're going to do is fold on our score lines. And then we're going to start cutting away the pieces so that we can fold it up. So I'm going to fold that one first. Take my little burnisher. And you can use anything to burnish. This one is from Dollar Tree. I would buy more of these because they last and they're good. Matter of fact, I buy one pretty much every time I go in. Only because I have a hard time keeping up with them. So there's that. That one. That one. Now we'll do our sides. And we just have one on each side. So now we have all of our marks. Remember, seven and, no, five and a quarter and five, half inch, half inch, and then whatever's left over. If you want to make it longer, make it longer. And then half inch, seven and a quarter, half inch. That's what we needed for these cards. You want to make it whatever size your card is. So you can make it smaller if you have an A4. I think these are A7. And I didn't mean to order A7, such as what I got. So, first thing we're going to do, we want to take the end that doesn't have the fold, and we are going to just angle down the side. And you'll see why when we start folding it. We just don't want that corner to be up. So we're going from the fold line out at an angle. And it doesn't matter, really how big your angle is. It really doesn't matter. Then again, here, we want to go from this fold right here, we want to angle out just a hair, angle out just a little bit. And that's so when we make this fold and we fold up our box, we don't have a weird corner there. It'll, it'll get too thick if we leave it as a square. So again, we're going to fold and cut. Other side towards the top, towards the bottom, so both directions again. Okay. 
Now, at this top, we want to, from here, from that, we want to cut both of these squares off. So, we want this square and this square off, and we want an angle here. So, let's go ahead and cut our angle. along our fold and then again we're going to cut down and this one's a lot deeper and that is so that it does not when you fold it because this side was shorter because it was only five inches you want that corner to be at the top here so right there you've got a nice fold there and so but you can see how this one stands up so much further than the other so we want to make a nice deep fold there. And what you can do is go ahead and fold it and find out where it's going to be and just make a little mark and then cut to that mark like that. So I know exactly where that fold is. So again, fold. I'm going to make a little mark right there at that little mark right there. So I want to cut in to that first fold line, straight down to the second fold line, out to where we made that mark. And there we go. So now we can put it together. So we're going to use double-sided tape. And I'm going to put it on the front side. This would be the front side. Because I want this opening to be at the back. See how that is? I want it back there. So the back has your seam, not the front. Let's put her in. Same thing here. Got it. Now I'm going to take a little piece for this little piece. So I want to make sure it stays stuck. It's going to be stuck on the inside. So I want it on the outside here. And the reason I want that is because I want it to stick to the part that doesn't have any tape on it. We don't want any tape on this side, but I still need this stuck in there. So we're just going to add a little tiny piece of tape. Pull it on. Can you hear the dog wants back in? He can wait just a minute. I'm going to let him in in just a second. Uh, a little piece. Tip over. Right there. And that's so it doesn't get in your way when you put your cards in and out. So, we're going to take, fold him in, and bring that base up. Tape it down. Bring that base up. Now, so now we have our bottom, and now we're going to do the same thing here. Now, before I put this down, I want my magnet inside. So let's see. Just add a dot of glue. had a blob of glue rather than a dot of glue. And you want enough glue that that magnet is going to stick. So I'm using these tiny, tiny little magnets. So let me pull one off. I'm going to set it down. 
Now, I will give you a helpful hint. Don't ever use hot glue on magnets. You can use low temp glue, but don't use hot glue because it will take away the magnetic ability of the magnet. And I know that sounds bizarre, but it is because um, it rearranges the electrons. I'm gonna give you a very science. It's the same reason why you don't hit a magnet with a hammer. Um, it rearranges everything inside and becomes a big problem. So for that little booger, our little baby that we just put there, I'm gonna put a little piece of paper on top of it so that I don't get glue everywhere. So all I am gonna do is just cut a small square Fit. Make sure that I have enough glue on it and have plenty of leftover over here. Because it kind of got away from me. I'm going to set it right on top. doesn't take long for glue to stick, but it does give you a minute or two to get yourself together. There she is. Now I'm going to bring my sides up, make sure my box is the way I want it, and take that down. Oh, helps if I take the paper off. See, yeah, I forgot the coverage. I'm going to take that off. It's not sticky without taking that off. There we go. I'm just going to stick that down with it. Put my hand inside so it works so well. Now we want to do the same thing on this side. Hold it in. Let it go. Hold it over. And now, just slip our hand in and get that pressed down real well. So there, and we can take our cards and slide them right in. She says with all the confidence in the world. There you go. And now, wouldn't that be cute? It's just even so far on um, at a craft show. I mean, you could sell that. That'd be easy peasy. Also a good gift. So now we're going to take little piece that we had. I'm going to trim that edge a little bit better. Because it's got a little bit of that fold over edge and I just don't like that. So let's get that off. I love this finger blade. I'm still learning. I don't always stick my finger in the hole and I should but I don't. Now we're going to take and use our tape on this. And now that I've looked at it on there, I really want to round those corners. So let's take our scissors. He knows how to open the door. Round the corners. Up and round the corner. So now it's not quite so square. When we set it on there, it'll be a little bit better to look at. So I'm going to take this. and lay it right on, like so. Open it up, make sure it's stuck well. And now, 
we have to get our magnet on, but we have to get it, have to have it where the other magnet is. Now, easiest way to do that is to take, see, pop that on there. Now we're just going to add glue. We know where that goes. I pull him off. Let go. And sitting down. Yep, that's the right way. It's exactly where I need him to be. Now, we are going to use this. Maybe. No. Nope, nope, nope. Not that. Okay, set it aside. Where's the other piece we got? That's also not going to be big enough. Okay. We're going to take this part in the back. This part. We're going to cut that. Along that seam. I'm going to add tape. Do we want to do that or do we want to change and do this on the inside? I'll choose this on the inside. I know, I can't make up my mind, but I would have cut it on that seam anyway, so it's okay. Now we're going to put it along this whole piece. And that will cover that other, and we'll just make that smaller. It's not a big deal. So, mark where I want that. Cut that one. Side because again, we can use that as a tag in the future. And as you can see, I've got my magnets. Now, if you cut your tape too long, your double-sided tape, it's okay, because once I pull the paper off, I'll just roll it over. And I'll just show you that. But we want this to be well stuck. Okay, 
so we have enough tape on. Our furniture. Make sure that's stuck down well. Unfortunately, he can open that back up when he wants to come back. Let's take our paper off. And I'll show you what I mean about rolling that over. Sometimes this just does not want to let go. It's like, no, I'm good there. Now, this is a good spot. So, I have one. I've got this piece. I'm just going to roll that underneath. I've got this piece up here. I'm just going to roll it over. And since it's double-sided, it's still sticky there. I hope everybody has wonderful plans for Mother's Day. If it's after Mother's Day, I hope you had a wonderful day. I don't have big plans for tomorrow. I uh, will go see my mom at the home that she lives in. And wish her a happy Mother's Day. So again, we're just going to roll that tape in. Put up a box. There it is. Now, it's, what it's going to do is go over that, which is what we want it to do. I'm just going to go against this fold mark. I don't want to cover the fold mark. I'm just going up to it. That's good. Burnish it. And now my magnet is well and truly stuck down. They are both sandwiched. And now I'm going to go back and trim this set. So I go up. On this side. We'll go up. straight because we are going to fix this rounded and trim off that edge. Okay, so that is done. So that's done. Now I want to go back and we want to cut this side. So we get a nice rounded corner. Straight across. Around the corner, and now we just need to create that fold that's at the top. With that paper that's underneath, so what I'm going to do is, now that I've got it folded, I'll just come back and burnish over it. There it is. It will stick itself back down. So when we get our cards in it, we'll just slide right in. Close it up. And like I said, we're going to take... Would you close off? Crap, where did you go? Why aren't you closing? Hmm. Not real sure why that's not closing. 
may have flipped the magnet, which would be normal for me. I'll have to, I'll have to fix that in a minute. So we're going to take, let's see, do we want that one? Yes. I like this one. It's got a nice blue butterfly. And our cards inside are black and white, but they're floral. So there is the clothes on that. And I'm not sure why the magnet's not holding. I think it's too much paper. Maybe it's just not a strong enough magnet. But there you go. I can go back if I need to and do Velcro. It's not a big deal. But there is our little card box. And we have our little cards that they can write whatever they want on it. And we made it with a Dollar Tree gift bag and paper that we had on hand. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment what did you like about it. I think our next video is we're going to go back to sewing. It's because I have some things that I want to try. And I appreciate that y'all let me try. And you like most of it. So that's that works for me. And I appreciate that. So I appreciate your coming. Thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it. Any um, interaction that you make helps my YouTube algorithm, and I will see you hopefully next time. Have an amazing day.